Look, John Z, I'm working on a new painting. Let me show you. Six leaves, five left, four. John Z, promise me you will not look outside the window while I work. I'll try to see it for you. This year, John Z is a meadow in full bloom. The flowers sway with the wind, just like life dances with its challenges. It's beautiful, Sue, but I can't help thinking about. The last leaf. Look here, look closely, Johnsy. This tiny leaf here is struggling to hold on, but it's different, just like you. I see it too. The leaf will stay, just like you will. Now let me finish with this painting. Did you call for me, Sue? Mr. Bowman, John Z thinks that she will die with the fall of the last leaf of the ivy creeper. I don't know what to do. Foolishness! A leaf cannot dictate life or death. She has been marking each leaf as her death sentence. Let me see her. Sometimes people are need to be reminded that life is not stubborn. Mr. Bowman, she is convinced that she will die when the last leaf falls. Let's see. What's so special about the last leaf? Life, like art, has its own stubborn beauty. Oh, hello, Mr. Berman. I see that the last leaf is still there. But how? Yes, Sue. I painted that leaf. To help John C give her hope to live, and because of you, I was able to paint my masterpiece. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. We are so grateful for this help. Thank you. Yes, bye. Your condition has improved, John C. The will to live is a powerful medicine. Thank you, doctor. But Mr. Bob, <coughs> Roman's condition is critical. There might not be much we can do for him. However, I'll try my best. Doctor, please do everything you can. Let me speak frankly, Sue. John C's recovery is progressing, but there's something more than physical health at play here. He sacrificed himself for you, John C. So we have to do something for him. We will, John C. We will remember him. Please come in. I heard about Mr. Burman. It's a loss for all of us. It indeed is. 